Hello. It feels so good to not be moving anymore, not be painting walls and unpacking a house. <laughs> the last two months have honestly just been an adventure. But we actually had an adventure within an adventure because in the midst of all this moving, it was probably a bad idea, but it was also a great idea. We decided to go to Hawaii. So from like the end of August to the beginning of September, we were there. And the reason why I'm saying that is because we took a GoPro with us, my husband and I, and we got a bunch of really sweet underwater and overwater footage with the GoPro. And I did that because I am super passionate about painting water. So what you're gonna see is a giant water painting today. And it is from the footage that we got when we were in the ocean. <sighs> I'm so excited. Alrighty, let's prepare the palette. Get everything out. I'm gonna go in with this burnt umber color for the underpainting. I'll show you how I do it. I put a little bit of galkite in with it, a little bit of odorless mineral spirits. Hmm, nice cool fall day. Perfect day for painting. Let's take this burnt umber and do the underpainting. I will tell you a little bit about this in case you're new to my channel because this is probably the most common question I get with painting videos. Why do I do this? So I like to do a thin underpainting, usually with like a brownish orange color to add warmth to my finished painting, but also to get that pigment to soak into all those textured pieces of the canvas. So no white shows through at all because sometimes, you know, the brush, leaves little gaps for the underpainting to come through. And if that warmth shows through, I just really like it. I really, really like it. And if you're somebody that paints with thin layers, um, the warmth coming through underneath too is just mm, so nice. Anyway, it's a personal preference. <laughs> Let's do the sky here. The sky was really easy because the footage that I got. It was often like a clear day, maybe a cloud or two in the sky. Nothing complicated. Now let me tell you something about, I guess the way I look at water now. So my husband and I, we took all this footage of water when we were in Hawaii. And when I got home, I, spent hours and hours just like watching the footage, combing through it and studying it. And I kid you not, I feel like my brain comprehends it differently now. So you're gonna see my water process for this painting is a lot different than my older paintings. And I think it's because the way my mind is grasping it now, like I cannot unsee it. And I can't even see like how I comprehended it before. <laughs> Do you guys ever like have that? Like as an artist, if there's something you paint, does your mind ever just like change how you comprehend it? And then you can't like comprehend how you used to comprehend it. Really strange. So before I talk more about this painting, I do want to say that if you are interested in limited edition prints, they are available at mirabiler.com. I will be offering eight and a half by eight and a half size prints of this piece, and it will be a limited edition print run, so there will be 100 of them. I might also offer a couple larger prints um, on rolled canvas, like two by two foot prints. So you can check on there if they're there, but if they're not, then it did not work out. So <laughs> yeah, maybe in the future, we'll see. 
I'm not really sure yet, but um, I guess you guys will know by the end of the video because I filmed this ahead of time. Um, the original painting will also be available though. So yeah, if you're interested in any of that, you can go to mirabyler.com. So I probably spent about a week painting this. My husband was actually working on inpatient in the hospital. He's a resident right now and yeah, he was working nights and I decided, you know, if he's working long hours, I'm just going to get lost in a painting for a lot of hours. And this is what came of it. It was actually really fun and enjoyable and therapeutic. I'm really glad I had the opportunity to set aside a lot of time for one piece. It kind of felt like, I don't know, at this point I could tell it was water and I got the joy of layering and adding value to all the reflections. Everything felt like it was clicking, hence why it's like dark out and I'm still up painting at this point. I guarantee you it was like two in the morning right here. <laughs> yeah, two in the morning, we'll say. New day, alrighty. Time to add more value to all these little water ripples. This was the day I tackled the area I had been avoiding as well. All those simple ripples at the bottom of the painting like intimidated me for some reason, which you'd think would be the other way around, like all the ones up top that were like more convoluted. But in my mind, it was the simple ones. <laughs> When Dorf got home, he hung out with me in my art room. We just did arts and crafts together. He likes to do 3D printing for Dungeons and Dragons minis because he's a DM in his campaign. And yeah, he makes a lot of cool stuff. I can't show you what he's making because my friends watch my channel and um, they're in the Dungeons and Dragons campaign and I can't spoil it, sorry. <laughs> Something about painting on a really large scale like this is liberating to me because it requires very large movements. And when I feel like I can incorporate my whole body into a piece of artwork like this, I feel so much more enthusiastic about it. I don't know what it is, but yeah. That's why sometimes I just like dance while I'm painting and Sometimes I paint with both hands at once. I don't know. It's just a whole different experience. <laughs> so at this point here, I am mapping out all the little highlights where the sun is going to sparkle across the water. This is when I started to really get excited about this painting because I knew I was getting close to being done. And I feel like once you get to this point in the painting and you start adding all those noticeable highlights, everything changes so fast and comes to life. And I think it's my favorite part too, because it shows like, oh, I painted my way out of the messy stage or I painted my way through it rather. So my question for you folks, what are you working on right now? Are you doing any creative projects that are just inspiring you, crocheting or painting or... I just remember a couple of years ago, somebody commented and said they painted on hubcaps of cars. And I just always thought that was so cool. 
I've always remembered that comment and I bring it up from time to time, but yeah. I love hearing about your creative endeavors in the comments. It's a joy that we can hang out and talk about art and watch art videos and stuff together. At this point here, I was trying to add more of a greenish hue to certain parts of the water. Um, and that is kind of like where the sun is shining down through and the water is a little bit more translucent in those areas. It was fun trying to capture that. You can see here I'm painting with both hands. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Anyway, we are getting close to finishing. That's so exciting. I'm so excited to start another water painting soon because I'm definitely the type of person who does not get attached to the painting, hence why I sell like all my artwork. I am the type of person that gets attached to the process and like working through everything. Um, it's fun to like kind of problem solve that and also to just like work through my own life. It's like therapy. Um, yeah, I really enjoy the process. That's my favorite part of art, I think. Oh, and I decided to actually do my signature on the front this time instead of the back. So there you go. Yay! We finished the painting. This is how it looks back there. This is definitely the largest painting. No, I have done a larger painting before. Just kidding. This is not the largest painting I've done in my life. This is the second largest painting I've done in my life. Oh yeah, I know I mentioned this earlier in the video, but I wanted to mention it again. If you want limited edition prints, they will be available at mirabyler.com. The original is also available at mirabyler.com. Also, with the limited edition prints, they're gonna be eight and a half inches. It's a square print. That's what's easiest for me to ship out. However, there might also be an option for like 24 inch rolled canvas prints if I can get that worked out. If you don't see it, it did not work out and I will do it for a future painting. But if you do see it, there will probably be like five or 10 of those somewhere in there. So there's gonna be between 100 to 110 limited edition prints in total. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching and just hanging out. It's always fun to geek out and do art together. And life is back to normal now, so something fun is coming next week, and I can't wait to show you. Anyway, have a good day. See you in a week. <laughs> Bye.